Good afternoon, sisters. Good afternoon, sisters. And good afternoon, online viewers. And good afternoon to all our members who are watching <coughs> in our satellite communities in Intramuros, in Tayuman, in Pampanga, our guardians de honor, the Manila Bacolod of Obdagum, of Davao City, and of course, of our mother house, Thursday sitters of the Maine, the Roca Maine. Thank you for joining us in today's contemplative prayer. And I have something to tell you, something which I also told today. My heart was very heavy this morning um, because uh, we had, we had, after some time of temporary closure, we have to retain some of our employees, but at the same time, we have to retrench some because of work redundancy and because we are still closed, but we will be open um, hopefully by September 5 in time for the birthday of Our Lady. Maybe Our Lady, Mama Mary, has really chosen this time to, chosen this time to, 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 to begin again this mission that the Lord God has given to us. Do you feel locked down <laughs> until now? But we cannot be locked down in our faith. Look at all the altars that have sprouted in every homes. We cannot be locked down in our faith in God. And so many people have now started to really pray. Uh, Ten Hail Marys at noontime as a, uh, according to the CBCP and the six o'clock rosary of our Dominican brothers and uh, the many, many forms of prayer. And by the way, see, of the coming September 5, we, the Dominican sisters, in the evening, at 8 o'clock in the evening, will also be leading a healing rosary for the world. So please join us on that evening. I am asking, lockdown ba yung feeling nyo hanggang ngayon? Sabi ni Sister Mau kanina, after six months na, <laughs> na lockdown tayo, panahon na to open up, no? We are not locked down in our relationship. You can continue having your good relationships. This time, no, kahit sa Espanya, alam nyo, tawag doon sa kanilang apartment ay piso. Uh, primer piso, segundo piso, no? It's an, it's an apartment. And then, usually, in every apartment, there is a veranda. Just like the veranda here at Regina Rica Retreat, no? And so, in the past, people did not know each other even if they have stayed for so long in that veranda. But this time, they even devised means to, to, to transport um, food, no? maybe through a, a string or through a wire or something, but they give food to their next door neighbor, which they have known, whom they had do not even know in the past. So it's like, oh, neighbor, kamusta ka na dyan? Oh, lockdown ka pa dyan. So they started to talk. And that's only in Spain. How about here in the Philippines? I am very sure and I have heard that some people in the condo, they have, ano nga yung ding? Pasabay. Ha? Pasabay. Pasabay, no? Pasabay nga. Pasabay nga ng magsya-shopping ka. Pasabay nga, pat b u y no? Pasabay nga, please. So, and uh, some people in, their, in the different condos, they also even have what you call barter system. Huh? You have flour, I have eggs here, sige, barter tayo. And all of a sudden, they chase cakes or pandesal, no? So, many things happen. You are not locked down in relationships. We cannot be locked down in our friendship. We, cannot, we can never be locked down. Likewise, in our hope, we continue to hope. And hope springs eternal for as long as a person has hope there will always be life so this morning as i have said we had a general assembly with our employees whom maybe we have known for many months or many years but then we had to do the hard task of letting go of some even if we do not want it to happen and because we are going to open regina rica i gave a seven last words from Sister Epi. And the last words I shared with them and I'm going to share with you too is opening. Sisters, could you please spell the word opening? O-P-E-N-I-N-G. 
Chi. Per perfect kayo sa spelling. <laughs> Good, good spellers. No, uh, we always work on acronyms here because it's easy to explain using an acronym. So I told this, I told the employees about O, observe protocol. And I'm also telling you to observe protocol wherever you are. If you decide or if you plan to come here at Regina Rica on September 5, then observe protocol with your face mask, with your face shield, with the uh, of constant hand washing and uh, social distancing. And I am not yet very sure, but I like Kamay ni Jesus or um, uh, Padre Pio in Batangas. They have waived already the medical certificate for as long as they go to, to areas of pilgrimages. We will check with the mayor. I, we have already uh, informed the mayor that we are opening. So. Uh, let us see what lies ahead. They have already inspected this place, and uh, somehow, it's, uh, as I have said earlier, we have a good air quality here at Regina Rica. Not only that, good air quality, but with all the flowers and all the beautiful things that you see, especially on our Facebook posts, um, I am very sure that uh, when you come here, wag lang sobrang dagsa ng tao, no? Kasi we can, we mag uh, ano kayo dyan sa gate because the, the protocol is now being done at the, at the waiting shed. Uh, that is where you have your temperature through the wrist, not only here, not here, because I'm afraid of the, the brain here. So maybe the wrist is better, no? You have to get temperature, then that is where you have foot bath, that is where you register, that is where you wash your hands with soap and water and also wash your hands with furthermore with alcohol. So you might be very crowded there. So I hope and pray, let's observe because uh, maybe some of you are still afraid, lockdown pa rin mentality, natatakot maglabas. But you see, uh, last, sep last August 17, there is already a DILG um, uh, um, communication. communication that says that the elderly should never, should not be stopped from from movement for as long as they are careful. No? We need to be very careful. Okay, so first is observe protocol. Very important. Wherever you are, observe protocol. Second is be pause and pray. No matter what, there has to be that pausing, pause, no? stop for a while and pray. Because the more we stop and pray, the more we become um, brave and not to be afraid. Why do we have to be fearful all the time? Do you know? For as long as we are careful, the fear factor has to be lessened now. In fact, this is what I heard from Father Falier. He said, we just need to swim, we just need to be conscious of the protocols, and we should not be afraid. And of course, Our Lady will open her mantle of love. Eh, bago na yung baro niya by that time, eh, by September 5. Thank you to all of you who have donated for her repainting. There was a little crack in the neck and that worried me really. But then, of course, that little crack in the neck is now has now been fixed. And it's not easy to climb up to Our Lady. You need a lot of uh, scaffoldings and, of course, harness for the people to go up and it's very dangerous, but somehow the front area of Our Lady is now done. We're still raising the funds so that you will be able to, to, con to continue with the repainting of the mantle of Our Blessed Mother. So P is pause and pray. Just pause and pray. And eventually, as Julian of Norwich said, all shall be well, all will be well, eventually, no? So the next is to E, O is observe protocol. P is pause and pray. E now is enjoy the new normal. Everything is new normal now. Cannot go back to the past. We were asked eventually, we were asked before to slow down. I remember giving a retreat in Tagum before, and their theme song was slow down. But at that time, it's very difficult to slow down. And one of my friends even said, the Lord God or God has given us this small invisible virus so that we will be taught how to slow down. Mm -hmm. So we, ha we have now learned how to slow down. We have now learned how to accept. We have now learned how to allow this event to happen. So enjoy the new normal. 
This morning, we were with our mask and we were with our face shield. That's not normal to us here because for the last six months, we are not going out. We're just staying here. It's very difficult. But my sister said that when you wear this you know, mask and wear the face shield all the time, time will come when you don't just feel it. It's already there. So a little sacrifice for your own safety. Enjoy the new normal. Many new normals uh, are happening in this time. Uh, some people, we have board members of our board of trustees who simply order food for their lunch. They don't prepare anymore. They simply order food. It's maybe easier than easier. And at the same time, it is maybe simpler. And at the same time, it will help you to, to save money instead of riding the taxi to go to the store all the time. The next is open, open, N, N, thank you. N is to never, never, never lose hope. Never lose hope. Tingnan nyo yung pandemic sa panahon ni Julian of Norwich, natapos din, di ba? We have enjoyed travel in the past. We have enjoyed the teaching one-on-one -on -one and face-to-face -face teaching. By the way, 400 schools, according to uh, Ray Barnido, closed. Why? Because they cannot cope. Huh? And that very few students, reduced number of students. So in just never lose hope. All shall be well. During the time of Julian of Norwich, they thought maybe it's only one year, but it's, it <laughs> extended to several years. But then they knew already how to cope with it. So just never lose hope. Something good is going to happen and something good is already happening. So opening eye is to invent. Invent creatively, consciously, something that can make you happy and help you earn more. Don't just think that it's only uh, this career that will give you money. No, no, no. If you're working at home, then you can also stay, still do some kind of online business and do something more. Just be inventive because the only ones who will, out of um, five companies, they, it is said, only one company will, is that right? No? Only one company will survive. Four are already starting now to collapse. And then you just reinvent the only companies who will be able to survive are those who know how to reinvent. One of those is the company of Tita Del and Tito Frank Abueva. Immediately after, when, they, when the, all this pandemic started, they have now a business of sanitizing, huh? sanitizing offices. And they are into advertis adver advertisements, not advertising. Uh, then they have also footmarks, they have printing, they have all these things. So we need to reinvent. We don't need to stay the same at all times. So um, the next is um, um, <laughs> another end. opening. Another end is nurture your body, your yourself, and your health. It's very important to nurture the health. If you don't nurture the health, then what will happen? You will have a very low immune system. That's why we have two hands. One is to take care of the self, and the other is to take care of the other. So don't forget that. And lastly, G. 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 Lastly, G is a gratefulness. Now, gratitude for this gift of life. Gratitude for the gift of the breath. We have one beautiful mother founder and mother superior of the Carmelite, uh, Mother Lucy. And one of the last habilin niya sa kanyang nurse si Sister Susan. Susan, when I die, you have to put a little bit of cotton in my nose outside. Kaya makita mo yung cotton na naga, naga ano pa daw? Hulag-hulag oh, yeah. pa. <laughs> yung the nose when it is just still moving. I am still alive. <laughs> Don't bury me. Don't put uh, imbalsamar. No? Do not embalm me yet. Because I'm still alive because there is still the breath. So you see, the breath, <laughs> the breath of life is really a gift for all of us. So just be grateful. As Jack Ma of Alibaba said, if you are alive today, it is already profit. Have you closed your company? Did you lose your job? Underpay ka na ngayon? O um, 
pay cuts, ma maraming pay cuts, di ba? Instead of five days a week or six days a week, sometimes three days na lang, so that there is what you call rotation. It's okay. Be grateful for what is left. Be grateful that we are alive. Be grateful that we can still breathe in and breathe out. So that's our message for you today. Continue to sit with us and continue to join us in contemplative practice every Thursday at 2.30 to 4.30. God bless you all. Now we will greet our members. Let us greet our members in the Mother House.